Do you spend time with your family? Sure, I do. Good. Because a man who doesn't spend time with his family is never going to win the Conservative votes. Come here. You look terrible. You're not even wearing any cultural headgear. Listen, Patricia. I want you to rest well, and I guarantee when the election comes around, the local press will help you win Cape Town all over again. But what if the gang's thing comes back to bite us in the puss, Helen? I'm going to make them an offer they can't refuse. Oh, you mean a bribe? You, look, just go outside, enjoy yourself, and try not to swear too much. Don't embarrass me. F*** you, Helen. I would never do that. Good Lord, that woman is tiring. <sighs> if only we didn't need the coloured vote. Let's get it on. This week, we talk local elections. Amanda! The courts rule against Cloudy. Mr. Woody will never be apologetic for his methods, and Benny Bro struggled to say goodbye. <laughs> All this and more, but first, this. The race to find a new public protector is still on. The ANC have shortlisted three candidates that they believe could be the next Tully. A tough job they will have. Do you have any opinions on the candidates? A lot of people think Siraj Desai is not the best choice. Impartial, I must remain, unfortunately. Besides, still busy protecting the public I am. Saudi, the Guptas, so much to do, so little time. You've dealt with so many issues during your time as public protector. Will you leave anything for the new person to do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, bro, this job is never done. Shem, you're so cute. <laughs> One of the smaller parties in the 2016 elections have gained social media popularity thanks to their spicy posters. The Patriotic Alliance have hashtags like Yo Ding Mut Pain and slogans like They say save the rhino, what van de preno? We want to speak to the real people. Your party is headed by ex con Gaten McKenzie, right? Better than current con Jacob Zuma. Dio is he a copy? Um, I wouldn't have expressed it quite like that, but I see where you're coming from. We just like to say it, Susit Us. It's most invigorating. You should try it, Debra. Um, the weather is Puskot. Yeah! Taxes are during my Muran! Nitsu! And now we know who Debra will be voting for. No one seems to be sure whether or not Maris Fransman is indeed running for the ANC in the Western Cape next week. Fransman insists he is. The ANC head of election says he is, but Gwede Mantashe says he definitely isn't. I am back. Look, Marius, hey, a pretty young woman needs your attention. Oh. Marius Fransman is currently under review and cannot be endorsed by the president. He is definitely not back. In fact, from the ANC's perspective, there is currently no Marius Fransman. But he was right there a second ago. No, no, no. As a physical entity, Marius Fransman might be there. But as a political entity, he currently doesn't exist. Politics is weird. I demand no, no, an no. explanation. Shh. Quick, Marius. There is Helen Zille. Go insult her. Since Mr. Fransman doesn't exist, I couldn't possibly have just told him to go and insult the Premier of the Western Cape. No, 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 you didn't hear that. You just think you did. I, I, I feel like any minute now he's just going to start waving a magic wand. The local elections are next week and our politicians are in full campaign mode. Here with the highs, lows and mediums is our local election special. Perhaps the most heated battle has been between Jacob Zuma and Musi Maimani. Musi accused Zuma of being no better than Fervurt, and DA's posters claim they're preserving Madiba's legacy. Zuma, on the other hand, insists he is going to crush Musi. 
Okay, jeans, the rules are simple. No scratching, no hitting, no biting, no kicking. Our attacks are only verbal. Understood? <laughs> yeah, Bo. Yes. Okay, then let me count you in. It's three, two, one. Insult! <laughs> Poor Moosey. <clears throat> it must be hard pleasing white people all day and then still having to go home and make your <laughs> wife happy. Well, it, it, it must be even harder, Mr. President, to wake up every morning knowing you look like Shrek, but far less popular than him. Ben! <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel to rob Mandela's grave for your party slogans? Mandela. 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 Okay, we get the point. Well, 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 y y your party took us out of apartheid and you're taking us straight back there. <laughs> oh, Mr. Maimani, you played the apartheid card. I'm sorry, but that's an immediate disqualification. Well done, President Zuma. Still with the local elections, it seems ANC has an unexpected secret weapon that they've deployed. Razzmatazz. Sports Minister Figele Balula. Balula is also the ANC's head of campaigns and has been called in to help some less charismatic politicians. I believe that, uh, of course, uh, this municipality, uh, the best, uh, the best, this, uh, uh, this uh, uh, municipality, uh, the best that. Uh, uh, this municipality is uh, the best at uh, enormous. Green, uh, deploy Vigila now. Uh, providing, uh, bas you know, basic. We want your magnificent and splendiferous ANC candidate. He will be glorious in his endeavors. Amandla! Awe, too! Amandla? Awe, too! Mete, mete, we need comrade six in Kazadin. Quick! Also, as happens every single election cycle, everyone is complaining about the DA's aggressive SMSs and phone calls. They must have an entire army at their disposal. Hello, it's us, the DA, proudly keeping Madiba's dream alive. I'd rather you kept Helen Zilla's dream alive. This one definitely needs your Model C accent. Good day, ma'am. Yes, this is Musi, and I'd like to thank you for your support from the bottom of my heart. Can we count on your vote? Oh, absolutely. Have yourself a good day now. Hello, it's us, the DA, proudly keeping Madiba's dream alive. How the hell did you get my number? Black, black, black tent. <coughs> black tent, black tent. Uh, Malapoti. Eh, uh, I feel your pain, my brother. Yeah, sorry, man. Shapisto. Are you tired of fine lies? Yes. Had enough of dark blemishes? Logical all-day, all-night moisturizer. It's fast-acting and lets you be you. Oh, that's nice. Made from the fibers of pure logic and integrity, Logical all-day, all-night moisturizer helps to combat neoliberals and radical freedom fighters with its ANC and NPA resistant formula. It's the logical choice. Logical for thick skin. Have you seen the snow this week? I do have the internet, yes. No, I meant in person. Like, did you go anywhere snowy? Why on earth would I do that? Snow is fun. It's so exciting and you can be a, like a, a little kid and have snowball fights, eat yellow snow and build snowmen. When I want and... snow, I go to Switzerland and ski. That is all. Okay. Somehow, miraculously, Cloudy Mutsweling is still in charge of SABC. I really thought that fire him while we were away. Nope, he's still here. Although he does keep losing in court. As you can hear with your own eyeballs, everything is great here at the SABC. And that noise outside is... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Is that disturbing you? Let's see how he fix that. Hallelujah! 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 Pa! Much better. So what news can Shawdi give you from the SABC Tower? Where we are all happy? So the journalists there that are wearing black and keep getting fired, they're happy? Under the wise rule of Shawdi, all are happy. Shawdi will never be apologetic for his methods or his shiny good looks. There are rumors that you might have to pay all these legal costs yourself. How do you respond? Hey, when well, I'm gonna have snap skin. 
easy, but if I am responsible, the SAPC is responsibility. <laughs> Look here, and you will see. Shawuti is the COO. Shawuti is the SAPC. I'm sorry, let me clarify. We're reporting from the real world, the one where the courts have overturned your rulings. Pretty much every journalist in the country hates you, and you might be held personally legally liable for all the costs incurred by your crazy actions. And I am in the Shawuti PC, where everything is sunshine, marshmallows, and sugar peeps. Maybe if you sang it to him? Cloudy had a legal problem, could say no to his ego. Cloudy hey, what am I? Uh, how do I turn it off? Somebody, where's the main one? Hmm? Where's the manual to this Deborah thing? The world's last VCR will be made this month. Japan's Funai Electric, the last manufacturers of VCRs, have blamed dwindling customer numbers. I'm amazed that they've only dwindled and not disappeared completely. I know, I mean, who even cares about VHS anymore? I'd rather Netflix and chill. I'd be dirty justice. <laughs> I'm always dirty. Oh, where is that copy function now? This is one of my 3,276 favorite videos. I can't lose this. My... <laughs> oh, no! I only got these off my Betamax cassettes a few months ago, and now this. Oh, cockman. <laughs> <laughs> Helen Zilla found time in her busy DA promotion schedule to do some self-promotion. Zilla tweeted her excitement over her impending book. It's magnificent, Justice. I'll be happy to sign your copy. Uh, thanks? It's called Not Without a Fight. Is that your general outlook on life? It would explain all the draws. Oh, don't be silly, Deborah. I'm very non-confrontational and peace-loving. I only fight when it's entirely necessary. For example? When Steve Beaker was murdered by the apartheid regime. I can't argue with that. Or when someone doesn't use the correct grammar in a tweet. Oh, wait, is, is your book a comedy? <laughs> I could do with a good comedy. <laughs> Apostrophe abuse, Justice. It's not a laughing matter. <laughs> <laughs> she cracks me up, Deborah. Look how serious she is. <laughs> Deborah, justice. It feels like it's been forever since I last saw your glowing faces light up my screen like it lights up my life. Oh, yes, it does feel like it's been longer than usual. Deborah? Not for me, but you know the old saying, time flies by. When you're having fun. No, when you have a holiday home in the south of Italy. Mmm, the glorious summer sun. The glistening Italian men. Vrachis, time didn't fly quite as fast for me, Debra. But I did have a lovely time gardening at my holiday cottage. Oh, you you have a holiday cottage? Yes, Justice. Undisclosed location. Ah, a secret hideaway. No, Justice. That's just the name of the cottage. Undisclosed location. Uh, I see. And you, Justice? Well, I spent most of my time visiting family. Uh-huh. And the time? It was a purgatorial eternity. I'm sorry. But on the subject of time, Rian, when are you taking us today? Well, Deborah, it was 153 years ago that a famous warship arrived at our shores. A ship that was so influential to South Africans that we still sing about it to this day. Let me take you back. Good evening, guten Abend. The American Confederate States warship, the Alabama, arrived at Saldana Bay today. The ship, classified as a screw sloop of war, is here to pick up fresh supplies. Joining us now from his ship's <coughs> uh, <coughs> poop deck is the Alabama's Captain Raphael Sims. Captain Sims, thank you for joining us. <laughs> My pleasure, Ryan. Being here makes me happier than old blue laying on the porch chewing on big old catfish head. <laughs> Woohoo! Yep, yep, I'll be long ride, Ryan. Don't mind saying we rode hard and put up Wyatt. Shit him rich. Yep. I, I see. Uh, Captain, could you tell us why you Americans are fighting each other? I ain't American, Ryan. I'm from Maryland. Um, uh... You see, Ron, it goes like this. Firstly, them damn Yankees are lower than a snake bat in a wagon rut. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Shit and grits. And your part in the war is to sink Union State ships. Yeah! 
Oh, hell, Rob! <laughs> we all over that damn Yankee ships like white on rice. Let me tell you something. When they eyeball the Alabama on Bay Stern, they're more scared of than they're a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Woo! <laughs> I don't, I don't really understand what you're saying, but that's a lovely song you're playing. Ooh, shoo. Oh, well, thank you, Ryan. It's all yours. <laughs> now I got to skedaddle. I've been necking that grape hooch all yours all morning, and my eyeballs are floating. Shit! English. All right. Good luck, Captain. After resupplying, the Alabama will sail to Cape Town. It's a city full of former slaves and British people, so I'm sure they'll receive a warm welcome. So how's it, babe? Um, not interested. Come on, let me just buy you one. I said I'm not interested. Hey, OK, okay. Easy, Tugger. I just thought you should know. I have a massive pee. Oh! Jesus! I can't see! Sometimes a woman wants to be seduced, swept off her feet, made to feel like a real woman. But sometimes she just wants to be left alone so she can enjoy a drink in peace! God damn it! <clears throat> And that's why I use Sprunt, the spray-on self-protection system for the modern woman living in a patriarchal society. Sprunt goes on easily and comfortably and will keep you protected all through the day and late into the evening. Hey, yo, babe. If you just smile, you look prettier. Ah! Ah, no! Come on, honey. You know you want it. <laughs> and if some arsehole starts bugging you, just raise your arm. It's like asking Sprunt for help. And Sprunt never says no to you when you say no to them. Get all day protection with Sprunt. The spray for when men are, well, you know. <laughs> Sorry, Sprunt. <laughs> On our break, sadly, the presumptive has been taken out of the sentence. Donald Trump is the presumptive Republican nominee. All our hopes and dreams so rudely crushed. Let's cross to Scott for more on the U.S. circus. I mean, U.S. politics. Donald Trump had great fun this week, live tweeting his hatred of everyone at the Democratic National Convention. However, he spared Michelle Obama's speech, perhaps reserving comment until his wife Melania delivers it at his victory speech. Ugh. Look at crooked Hillary. She's so desperate to lean to the left, she's even standing crooked. <laughs> Sanders supporters are still so anti-Hillary. Yeah, Mel, everyone knows that. Don't strain your brain, okay? Just smile nicely for me. I am saying, darling, you should make a statement about how the Republicans are the only divided party. Don't be stupid, Mel. Nobody wants actual politics during a political convention. But everyone is talking about how your party is against you. You should make more of the tensions between Bernie and Hillary. And more importantly, between Bernie supporters and Hillary is good angle for you, my darling. Listen, bleeding woman, if I want opinions, I'll ask my daughter. I don't import you for your brains. I import you for your looks. But you need to demonstrate some deeper understanding of the situation to start to persuade the swing voters that you are a clever choice. If we want you to say anything, we'll hand you a piece of paper and you read it. Here. Yo quiero Taco Bell? Damn it, woman, don't talk foreign in my house. Meanwhile, Hillary's emails seem to be the story that will never, ever die. WikiLeaks is dumping her emails with many believing Vladimir Putin is behind the leaks. <laughs> Bill, has your wife been possessed by an alien? Oh, I'm sorry. She's so security conscious, she's encrypted everything now. Tell your sound guy the encryption key is Lewinsky. <laughs> Why, we stuff? Just my little joke. The encryption key is presidential, guys. Scouts are worth a million thousand. I should have married you. 
<laughs> I think I should take it as a compliment that these powerful men are so threatened by me. Threatened by you or simply desperate to destroy you? If all they have against me are emails, then I'm not doing all that badly. Hey, maybe Trump could use printouts of your emails to build his wall. You're not helping, Bill. Well, enough, Hillary. You haven't lost yet, this time at least. William Jefferson Clinton, if you Presidential. say one more fucking thing, I'm gonna be looking email for you. And Bernie's bid may be over, but the Bernie bros aren't done with him. Sanders continues to get harassed for selling out to Clinton, with his band of supporters clearly feeling betrayed. At the end of the day, it's simple. Better Hillary than that evil Trump. But Bernie, what about Wall Street? I'm scared. You're scared of Wall Street? Bernie said it was bad. Trump is worse. That's what I'm saying now, schmuck. Imagine Trump and Wall Street combined, intent on your destruction. <laughs> They won't give up on the dream, huh? I guess that burn goes deeper than I thought. Oh, Bernie, please hold me. I need to feel the burn one last time. <sighs> Oi, why couldn't I have attracted young female fans? Looking here at the polling stats it's hard to feel very inspired And when I have To face another rally day Lord, it makes me feel so tired When my husband was president Life was so unkind But here's the key to make up your mind Who's gonna get your vote? But I'm here to claim it. Best stick with me instead of that old goat. Take my word, you can frame it. No need to be doubtful of who you're voting for. If you've got a vagina, you don't need to think no more. Please vote for me. Please vote for me. <laughs> Please vote for me because I am a woman. Oh, voters, what do you want from me? Oh, what house? Not the good. It, folks, everyone wants your vote, but we're not quite sure how many of them deserve it. What fun deep I know? Yes, quite. This has been the 143rd state of the Puppet Nation. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>